yeah, I'm back for the meantime. So today I went to see uh, Godzilla vs. Kong, so this is my review for that. Now, a bit of a spoiler warning, uh, I can't really review a movie without spoiling everything, so you've been warned, so yeah. So this movie is, uh, how can I describe this movie in the worst way possible? Um, basically it's Batman vs Superman with a metaphorical nuke and a gorilla that can do sign language. I'm, I'm not exaggerating any of that, so um, my main concern going in like watching this movie, like like going in to the theater, was that they're gonna like do what Hallmark does. So if you've ever seen a Hallmark movie, what they do is they like they set up a bunch of characters and then they'll you'll never see those characters again. You know, uh, I've only seen one Hallmark movie, but I, I've seen enough commercials from them to know that that's what they're gonna do. You know, you're never gonna see these characters again. They're just completely random one-off characters that don't really matter in the long run. So this is this is what monster movies do. So I've seen enough. I've seen some of the old Godzilla movies, and I've seen the one from 2014. I've seen the one from like last year, I think. I don't know. It was too. It's been too long. And I've seen this one. I haven't seen Kong Skull Island yet for multiple reasons, which I'm not going to disclose. But uh, this one is a. Uh, it doesn't do that. Uh, some of the characters from the previous movie come back. Uh, Sarah Zawa. Uh, He's dead, and the uh, lady that he's, like, uh, his assistant lady's also dead. And the derpy guy from uh, from King of the Monsters is not there. I don't know why, but then again, I don't think he's going to be missed by the general um, moviegoer or whatever. So, this movie uh, does exactly what uh, Batman uh, vs. Superman does, where it's, like, two parties against each other, you know, Godzilla and Kong. And then a third party comes in and makes them team up, and then one of them almost dies, blah, blah, blah. So, um, Millie Bobby Brown, the girl from the last movie, she's in this one again, and her dad's also in this one, but he's, like, irrelevant. He doesn't do anything. And, yeah, uh, there's, like, this radio show conspiracy theorist uh, about, like, all the monster stuff, and she meets up with him for some reason. Um, and Mechagodzilla shows up for some reason, and... Uh, there's like a couple references to the previous monsters, uh, no mention of the Muto or the Mutos and no mention of, uh, of, uh, that other thing, Rodan or Mothra, they're not in this. Um, it's pretty much just Kong and Godzilla. They made Godzilla, again, the villain, uh, in the beginning of the movie, that's what they always do. They did it with, like, all of them so far, except for Kong Skull Island, because I haven't seen that one. So, they really, like, try to make Godzilla look like the villain. A, like again and then he like sort of he like claps Kong and then Kong like somehow achieves the rank of Thor and gets Stormbreaker somehow I don't know it's the movies all over the place I mean I've seen Godzilla from 2014 I think it was from that year that one uh I kid you not I fell asleep during the first time but I actually really like it. Uh, I, I just, I don't have the patience to sit down through that one movie. I think it's good, but I just don't have the patience. But, um, yeah, th this movie, out of all of them, is the, the most out there movie. It just, it's random, but it keeps it together. It's got, like, two, th maybe three-ish things going on at once. So there's, like, this evil billionaire guy, and he sends this one guy on a mission, and then uh, his company's, like, really shady, and then... You've got, like, the people with Kong and the people with Godzilla, and they, like, sort of meet up-ish. Not really. But, yeah. Um, it's, it, I mean, the action's pretty good, and there's one scene in, like, I think it's in Hong Kong. It's, like, it's very beautiful, like, with all the lights and then nothing because it gets destroyed. But, you know, um, I'd have to say uh, it's, a, it's, it's a very action-packed movie, but... Depending on what side you're going to be on, like with this movie, um, you're either going to really like it or you're going to be like very annoyed till the end, you know? Well, until the, you know what I mean? You're not going to, you're going to be, you're going to, I don't know. I really thought this movie was going to be terrible and I heard a lot of like speculation about who was going to win and really it's kind of a, a draw, but then again, I guess you all saw that coming, but you know, um, yeah, uh, Mech Godzilla. I already said he shows up, but He's not controlled by anybody. He goes sentient somehow. I don't know how. Uh, 
is very odd and it kind of comes out of nowhere. I mean, there's no, there's no like little hints to it. It just kind of comes out of nowhere. Mechagodzilla like showing up, and yeah, the that's kind of it. I don't know. There's, I mean, there's, there's not much more I can say about it. It's not, it's not a terrible movie. I think it's really good. I just think that it's, it's all over the place, you know. And if you can keep it straight, you know, like if you can watch The Dark Knight the first time and remember everything, I certainly couldn't. I had to watch that movie like five times before I really like picked up every little detail that I know about. You know, it's one of those movies that you're gonna have to watch a couple more times before you really like know it, you know, but then again, I feel like all of these movies are like that. Um, but mostly this one because it's kind of, it's, I don't know, it's just, uh, it's all over the place. Um, yeah. I don't know. I, I really enjoyed it. Uh, I know I sound really down about it, but I'm not. I just really, I'm just, I, uh, I'm just at a loss for words because of how, I don't know, there's, there's just way too much to, like, I don't know. There's so much and yet so little with this movie, you know? It's, it's very basic, but it's also, you know, very complex. I don't know. A lot of weird things happen. You know, you thought that, uh, King of the Monsters was a weird movie with them going to, like, this ancient city and then nuking it into into oblivion. Well, yeah, this movie gets weirder than that. So, yeah, there's a couple familiar faces. Uh, the conspiracy theorist guy, you're going to like him, I guess. I don't know. He's funny. Uh, that's kind of it. Uh, yeah. So, yeah, I, I don't know. Yeah, you want to go see this movie? You don't want to go see it? Uh, I don't know. Leave a comment down below, even though I know that's not going to happen. So, yeah. I'm happy to say that I'm back. Um, production is as cheap as ever, so we're going full force. Uh, I'm going to release a review of uh, Godzilla from 2014 as soon as I finish watching it, because I have to. I have to keep rewatching that movie. Uh, I don't know. I, that that's that's a very very odd movie. I don't know. Um, so yeah, if you enjoyed it, if you didn't enjoy it, uh, tell me down below and. If you like what's going on with my background, I really, ha I don't know what to do with it. I keep putting way too much stuff back there. Um, yeah, so that's kind of it. And I'm just going to keep talking to drag out the time of this video. Yeah.